Welcome to the second part of the Unity iOS tutorial. From the last episode, I have showed you how to call the iOS native function from Unity. In this episode, I am going to show you how to call the Unity function from iOS. Communicating from iOS to Unity is actually very easy. We just need to use Unity send message function, which contains three variables. The first one is the game object name. The second one is the function name. The third one is the message we would like to pass through. Basically, how it works is Unity will go through all the game object in the current scene and find the game object with the matching name and going through all the scripts that attach to this game object and find the function which contains the same name and passing the variable of the string to that function. You can download the source code from the last episode at Unity Asset Store at the link down below, or you can just watch last episode and go through the tutorial and come back here. And let's get started. I just opened the compiled iOS project from last episode of the tutorial. Here you can see the iOS bridge.mm is included in the libraries. We are just going to modify the Objective-C code from the Xcode and then transfer it back to Unity. This way we will save a long time and get the code hand. So in order to implement the callback from iOS to Unity, we just need to implement the delegate here, which will handle the user input information. Then we will just send it back to Unity. So let's go to the header, just implement the delegate, just click jump to definition. Then we have an interface here, since we are not using it, just rename it to delegate and then save it. Let's go back. Then we just need to implement the delegate. So first just add implement, implement delegate. Here first we need to implement the init, which just passing back the reference. So we say dash bracket id init. In here we just return it itself return self so this way the add notification will have a reference of where it is from and then we need to implement another one it just to handle the callback void alert view It's U I alert view. What we're doing here is just trying to get the index of the button that's being pressed. So it's, it's called click button at index. So we are getting an integer from this. And curly bracket. So all we do right now just do a testing to see if this is gonna work. So we just use ns log just to log out the information. So here we can say clicked on the ID. So here we just say bottom index and bracket and semicolon to end this. So good. Now here we need to have a static reference to the delegate. So static delegate star, we name it delegate object, D-E-L-E-G-A-T-E -E -E object. When the URLR window is created, we just gonna create a new delegate. If the delegate object equals no, then we're just going to get it from the delegate object. Actually, it's delegate, capital delegate, A L O C square bracket, and call it init. 
This way we are just getting the reference from here. Then we're going to call into this functions. So in the UI alert view, we just need to copy the delicate object and paste it here at the delicate, which will just call the delicate and going through the click button at index and log out a index number. I have my iPad connected, so let's just click run. After the build is successful, we will see the app is running on the device and if it's connected correctly, you will see all the locks. Let's just clear it up. What's going to show in the output is after we select an option from the menu, they will log out the index number of the button. So let's just click and then just press yes. Now in the choice, we're seeing we have been clicked number one and try again, number two, number three. So now we are great at this stage. After you seeing all the correct output from your app, then we are very close to finish. All we need to do is just in the iOS bridge.mm, just need to replace the log with a function that calls Unity send message. So let's just say Unity send message. There are three variables we need to pass in. So the first one is the game object name. We will use main manager. This is the game object that exists in the current scene. The second one will give it the function name, the method name. Then I will say user feedback. In here, we need to send in a consistent char. However, it is an NS integer. Then we have to convert it into a string and then convert it into a consistent char. So first let's start with then ss string star i n s t r equal square bracket n s string string with format here we'll just say at and quote then with percentage just give it the and end this and here we just need to do a bracket integer and uh, do bottom index square bracket and close with semicolon then here we just need to create a new consistent chart consistent char star C string equal so I N S T R C string using encoding. Then here we're gonna use N S S N S A S C I I S string encoding. So this is gonna converting all the string into a consistent chart. So let's just copy this CS string and just paste it here. And that's what we are sending to Unity. Then delete this trace plot. So in Unity, we just need to rename the camera to manager. Here I have already done it. Just rename this to manager. And let's click and open the last option edit script what we need to do here is to create a function that has the same name as what we defined on the xcode which is user feedback here it's gonna get a string which is going to be the id string then we just need to trace it out from the unity side which means we actually succeeded passing the information unity id and then just plus ID. So here we go. Let's run and test it. And don't forget to copy the iOS bridge code from the Xcode back to Unity because it's going to be rewritten. So just make sure this is actually 
the same as the one you made changes from the Xcode. Now we are back at the Xcode. I have the new build running. You can see the locks here is running. Let's just clear, clean the lock. Let's just press the button and press yes. Now in, we can see the lock is sent from Unity. Well, if you have this running and congratulations, you are pretty much done with the Radar's Papa. I hope you have a better understanding of iOS Unity plugin after the two episodes. In the next episode, I will just finish up with the Radar's Papa and talking a little bit about the play press and why we are using it. And see you next time. Bye.